All right, I'm sitting here in the Walmart parking lot about five miles from my house, and I'm running FSD beta 11.3.4, and I'm wondering, can it take me from point to point? How close can it do it, including the parking lot? Let's get it done, see what it can do. Obviously, FSD can't back out on its own, so let's put it in drive put in my destination and enable FSD Let's see what happens now I'll fully admit that FSD is not designed to handle parking lots yet so what I am doing is 100% beyond what I believe it's designed to do but can it actually try and do it so it is baby stepping forward here and some people walking around some extra traffic we're doing the speed limit which is 15 miles an hour and it's navigating us to the road outside of the parking lot it did slow down significantly to exit but now it is coming up to speed and we're moving. So as far as navigating that parking lot, it actually did a good job. And in my opinion, it's done a better job in that parking lot with version 11 than it has done in version 10 dot whatever. Now this next left turn has been a challenge. I covered it in my last video. It is a left turn that is should be fine, but it's kind of blind in both directions and um, there's a fence on one side and there's just not a lot of good view out the left and it tends to stop short and then inch out, inch out. It's really struggled at times. So let's see what happens in this case here. Waiting on a little bit of traffic in front of us. Okay, again, we stop short. I can't see the traffic to the left. I can't see the traffic to the right because of cars. We are inching out and now it's deciding to go. So that behavior was actually pretty darn good all considering, I think it was just, in my opinion, way too hesitant in figuring out that it needed to inch forward. It stopped a good five, six feet before the stoplight. If it actually had stopped at the stoplight, I think it would have uh, been in a much better situation in order to handle that. While we're waiting for our next turn, I'll comment on the visualizations. We obviously have the big blue bar. Um, it's a little, gotta get used to it, it's fine, but I, it's clear to me that the blue bar is there to also give you feedback on deceleration and when you're decelerating and it gives you, you'll see here in a sec, the lines telling you that it is decelerating. That is a really nice feature, especially if you are sitting in the passenger side like a spouse wondering if the car is deciding to do the right thing so i think that feedback is great the red sides to the to the roads are gone everything is kind of grayed out and washed out um, i don't know if i really like that but uh it's okay um you see it's now starting to rain so we'll get to see how it handles itself uh when it's raining i'm not going to turn on the windshield wipers unless fsd actually turns them on and it just did um, so we're going to go ahead and pull out. Cross traffic here is 55 mile an hour and we'll see when it decides to go. I would say it's okay to go now. It's okay. It's okay. And now it's not, but it's deciding to go and I need to step on the accelerator pedal in my opinion. Otherwise the car behind me would be right up on me. Um, pretty clear that this type of behavior is repeatable in version 11. Um, it seems to be very hesitant, very hesitant to decide when to go, but when it decides to go, it almost decides too late. And then if you were to actually go, it would um, cause a problem. In fact, I had a turn of a similar situation that I didn't have on camera where it did the very same thing. It waited and waited and waited and then it decided to go and I had to stop on the brakes because it is clear that I would have gotten T-boned and the driver that would have T-boned me gave me the nice salute as uh, I was stepping on the brakes that um, it would have been a problem. So 
you got to stay attentive. Um, but overall, this drive is going um, reasonably well, in my opinion, other than that one time where I had to step on the accelerator pedal. Visualizations are all good. Um, lights now show up as blue, which I guess is kind of the indication that they are a point of interest that you need to be aware of. We have our left turn lane. Our left turn here, you did notice that it, it maybe it didn't pick up on camera, but it did cut across the yellow lines when it made that turn because there was no traffic. That is exactly what I would do as a human being because the nature of that turn and the angles associated with it made sense to cut across that, that double yellow line. Um, so it's very human-like behavior in that situation. All right, this next right turn is super simple, but historically this right turn is a problem. I'm coming up on a hill and it would always stop way short of the stop sign, like 20 feet short. And now with the black bar, it's actually stopping at the light in a place where it can look both directions. And it made the turn nice and slow. We've got people now on the left side of the road. Let's see if it dodges them. It did nudge over a little bit to the left-hand side of the lane, which is good. They were technically off the road. And now we have our final turn into before we get to where I need to be. And we make a good final turn. And we are done. FSD, second drive in the books. Still haven't tested the single stack highway. I will be doing that very soon. Um, this was a better drive. A couple of rough points where I have found by driving this. Um, visualizations, definitely a plus. Driving in town, I would say we're at par in some, better in some places, worse in other places. So maybe a, a level even, I don't know, maybe even a slight regression in places. But uh, the biggest concerns that I have right now is it, that it hesitates too long before it goes and then it decides to go too late. Um, and that causes problems. And the second thing is that when you break out of FSD and you want to re-enable it, um, sometimes that steering wheel icon doesn't come back on at all. It just flickers on and off and you have to really wait a little while, maybe a couple miles before it decides, hey, you can go ahead and turn that on. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.